What's up you guys? It's Brandon and Susie, Susie with Hey Grill Hey. We're here today with the Kamado Joe, the brand new Kamado Joe Connected. They sent us a rotisserie with it. So we decided to test out the rotisserie. I've never cooked a rotisserie chicken before, but Susie has an amazing buttermilk brine recipe for a rotisserie chicken on the website, heygrillhay.com. So she ran me through the recipe while I played with the grill. It was a good time. Let's show you guys and get into it. All right, step one for our rotisserie chicken. Are we calling this a jotisserie chicken? Might as well. They sent us the attachment and we're gonna use it. This is a jotisserie rotisserie chicken. So I wanted a rotisserie chicken that was very reminiscent of a fried chicken. So what I did was brine. I think the brine helps the chicken hold up really well to the high heat cooking method of that rotisserie style. So I have a buttermilk brine here. It's actually very similar to what you would see for a fried chicken. Four cups of buttermilk, there's garlic, onion, paprika, salt, pepper, and celery seed. And it smells really good. We're gonna season this all the way throughout. So from the brine to the cooking process, flavor everywhere. So, glove up, let's get this chicken in the brine. Now this is just a typical whole fryer chicken. They usually are about four to five pounds, pretty affordable at the grocery store. And I think whole chickens are just real fun to cook. Okay, chicken into the brine. Now we're just gonna do this in a big bowl, but I've also done this in a big like gallon storage bag so that it's all the way around. Just give it a nice turn. Might not cover the whole thing entirely. My priority for any brine like this is gonna be the breast meat first. So breast down, lid on, and we're gonna pop this in the fridge for at least four hours, but you can leave it up to 12 good to do a day in advance. Our bird has been in the brine for the last four hours, which means it's time to get it onto our rotisserie. So as I am coaching Brandon through the recipe part, he's gonna be getting everything set up on the rotisserie part on the grill outside. This smells great. It does, it's All ridiculous. Right. We're gonna slide this out, pat it dry with paper towels, Season the outside with salt and then stuff the cavity with our aromatics. I've got rosemary, thyme, shallots, and garlic. And just give it a light pat down. And then it'll be okay. Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. like two minutes. Good job. All right, we're ready to take our chicken outside. You keep your chicken hands to get it on the grill. Let's talk about how we have that Kamado Joe set up to cook this bad boy. So it's oh, the- Let's do it outside. Yeah, let's, let's do it outside. Let's turn it outside. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right, today we're cooking this rotisserie chicken on the Kamado Joe Connected. They sent us this rotisserie attachment with the grill. We're gonna have a full review on this grill coming soon, but we wanted to play with it a little bit today and do some testing. So Susie had the recipe part. Now I'm gonna show her how this grill works. We've got it set up at about 400 degrees. That's what Susie's recipe calls for. We're just gonna lift this lid up and throw this chicken on and start the rotisserie. Now when you run this grill in rotisserie mode, it doesn't have any of the deflectors or the grill grates or anything on the inside. So you gotta be kind of careful of flare ups, which we might see today. I'm a little bit nervous about. So my recipe actually calls for basting the chicken in melted butter. <laughs> We're gonna watch and see if that's even gonna be possible because it is just direct access to charcoal underneath. We don't know, we'll find out. Let's get this chicken on here and cooking. It's time. Yes. That feels so close to the fire for me. Okay, we close it, yes? Yeah, lid down and that fire will go out. Okay, let's turn around and say that. <laughs> that looks so hot in there. It's so close to the fire, we might actually see some of those flame ups. 
cross your fingers for us. So we did not battle flare-ups this whole time. It did take a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it looks so beautiful. We had some slippage happening with our actual rotisserie skewers, but overall I think the cook went really well. So now we've got some flames coming because we got the grill open, but that's fine. This chicken is ready to come off. It's reading about 160 in the breast. It's about 170 in the thigh meat. I could not have perfected the temperature more. The rotisserie works really well in that way. So I'm gonna carefully pull this off. We'll take it inside. Oh yes. Man, and get that, that smells chicken good. broken down. It smells so good. Beautiful. A little roasty wing tips, but I ain't sad about it. I'm gonna break down the chicken while Brandon breaks down the Kamado Joe Joe Tissery setup, but before I cut this chicken apart. You have to look, this is a signature hallmark of a beautiful rotisserie chicken, is actually these horizontal striations of brown skin. It's from the fat dripping as it spins. It gives you those beautiful, like almost tiger stripes on the skin. This is a very beautiful rotisserie chicken skin and I cannot wait to eat it. All right, as Susie's breaking down this chicken, I'm gonna break down the grill a little bit. So the actual full setup is on the Kamado Joe Connected. It's a brand new grill. And like I said earlier, we're gonna have a review out on it very soon. So I'll just be quick here. It's a ceramic grill. They're really good at holding high temperatures for a very long time on very little amounts of charcoal. And that's what people really love about them. The accessory we use today to do this is called the Joe Tissery. Basically it's a ring that sits on top of the Kamado Joe as the lid is open and then the lid kind of slams down on top of it and the gaskets seal up uh, almost airtight. They're not quite airtight, but they do a good enough job. And then it has a motor that mounts on the end that the actual shank for the rotisserie goes into. And that's what spins it the entire time very slowly. And you can see with this chicken, Susie already showed you how good of a job it did at cooking this bird evenly. This thing looks incredible and it smells even better it's look at insane. that mahogany skin on those thighs and those drumsticks it's nuts i can't wait to bite into that so i've only done this chicken on gas rotisseries before so i'm very excited to have that charcoal flavor and on see, this chicken the most rotisserie experience i have is those pre-done ones from the grocery store yep so i'm even more excited this thing's gonna be great no i'm the most excited no I'm the most excited. <laughs> no. Todd's the most excited. Let's just have a moment of skin worship here, please, and appreciation. This is a chicken skin appreciation video now. I'm real excited about how this turned out just from slicing it. I mean, the fact that this chicken skin that fat underneath there is almost completely rendered. It is just thin and mahogany brown, and uh, I'm super excited to eat it. Okay, I'm almost done. Now don't throw away your carcass. Brandon and I were just talking about this. The greatest thing in the world is smoked chicken noodle soup made from your chicken carcasses. So please keep your bones and make bone broth, and you can pick off any little pieces of chicken that you know didn't make it, set those aside, stir those into your soup at the very end. It's the best. Oh, the inside is so juicy. Okay, what are we trying first, Brandon? Breast? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a slice of breast here. I think a good breast is a true mark of a really delicious chicken because it's so lean, it's the hardest to get right. But hopefully, with the brine, the flavor, I'm a thigh gal all day. Oh my gosh. The skin is salty and smoky you get all of that caramelized brown flavor and crunchy texture. I could just eat the skin all by itself. That is so good. I'm sold. I already loved this rotisserie chicken recipe, but now that we got the uh, charcoal, like the ability to actually do a rotisserie over charcoal, I'm real, real excited. This might be back in the weekly rotation. There's so much moisture in this chicken breast. It's insane. Mm-hmm. I think for an experiment, 
We nailed it. Mm -hmm. The time may have taken a little bit longer, but it was totally worth the wait. I think if you guys want a good classic rotisserie backyard chicken, this is the recipe. If you want to try a new method of cooking it, the jotisserie was a really fun way to go today. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. So you guys can check out the recipe on heygrillhay.com or on the Hey Grill Hay app. We've also got t-shirts. We've got, I don't know, all sorts of fun things over there. So go check it out and we'll catch you guys next time. Todd, get in here and try this chicken. Taste test, Todd, me some chicken. You gotta eat something. You haven't tasted anything all day. I'm sure we'll know here. You went with a breast, I for sure thought you'd go thigh. <laughs> <laughs>